In this project base series, I'll be covering using a few sculpting brushes with the radial symmetry features inside of ZBrush. We'll be using these features on a few project based demonstrations I'll be walking through using the DynaMesh sculpting mode. And this radial symmetry feature will give you the ability to create all kinds of abstract designs and shapes while you're exploring the brushes in ZBrush. And we'll be covering all the basics you need to know to allow you to explore designing and styling in your own way with radial symmetry. In this first part of the series, I'll be covering how to select the brushes that we're going to be using in these projects, as well as creating your own custom UI for easy selection of the brushes, to then begin in part two, a practice example of creating a chalice or cup to explore these features, and then walk through a few other examples later in this project series. To begin this process, you'll see here I've got just a few example renders. So these are experiments I've gone through and done using the radial symmetry sculpting features. And we're going to go through and use the DynaMesh sculpting mode as a form to begin sculpting and allow us to control different resolutions as we need it while sculpting in this process. What we want to do here is load up a simple DynaMesh project. So here we can go to the Lightbox tab, open up the Projects tab here, and you'll see here in the middle we have a few DynaMesh spheres that have different resolution presets. For this example, I'm going to use the DynaMesh 128 preset. So simply double clicking to load this file. And now we have a sphere dropped in our canvas and it is currently inside of Geometry DynaMesh in DynaMesh mode and set to resolution 128. Now to begin this process and go and enable our radial symmetry features, we can go into the transform palette and let's dock this over here on the right. And here you'll see by default, the project comes in with our X symmetry enabled. Now just below X, we have the radial symmetry option. By enabling this, this will turn on our radial symmetry. And by default, we have a radial count of eight. So eight points across the mesh in the X axis. So this, we can now go in and begin to sculpt, adding and subtracting on top of that surface. For this demonstration, I wanna work in the Y axis. So allowing me to work vertically along the surface, but you can easily use this by simply changing to X, Y, or Z. So now enabling the Y axis, I'm now working in the vertical space of the mesh. And if I were to change this to Z, I can now go in and work across the mesh along the Z axis. So let's undo this and go back to default setup. And I'm going to enable the Y axis. So disabling our Z. Now giving me access along this space. For this practice run of using this feature, I'm only going to use a handful of brushes. So by default, we have the standard brush selected. So we're going to make use of the standard brush here. And we're also going to experiment with the Damien standard. So if we select this, you'll see that this is going to put the brush inside of my quick pick menu. And I'm also going to experiment with the move brush. So selecting this one as well is going to put this up in the menu. Now these brushes do also come with associated hotkeys or easier ways to access them. So for example, if we wanted to quickly choose the Damien standard brush, if we exit the brush menu, we can open up the brush palette anywhere in the canvas. So you'll see my cursor is over here on the right side. If I press the B key, this is going to open up the brush palette. So you see, where my cursor kind of sits, the brush palette centers the top of the palette, will center around where my brush is. So pressing B, I get access to the brush palette. Now, Damien standard, if I press the first letter for the brush, so pressing D, will isolate all of the brushes that are alphabetically listed. Now, you'll see when we isolate them, you'll see that they actually have an associated key. Most of the brushes in the palette will have this. So by pressing the S key, this will automatically select it. So let's do B again. Now for the move brush, we could press M and the move brush is the V key. So pressing the V key will select it. So let's try this real quick. The Damien standard is B, D, S and the move brush is B, M, V. So quicker ways to access these brushes and the standard brush is B, S and you'll see standard has the T key. If you remember these hotkeys, it's a very easy way to remember if you're focusing on just using a few brushes that are the same brushes you go to. Otherwise, we have the option to simply press the B key and we can use our quick menu that's going to have these listed at the top of the brush palette. So we can easily select them from here as well. And as a third option, we can also create a very simple custom UI. So actually going in and placing these key brushes we're going to be using within the ZBrush window space to easily just click them. So to do this, I'm going to go into the preferences palette, opening up the config palette, and let's turn on the enable customize. Now we want to be able to move these brush icons into the ZBrush menu. So the brush palette up here is going to have the brush icons listed here at the top. 
So as I select new brushes, let's say, for example, I select the clay tubes. This is now also going to be sitting here and this selection of brushes here is our quick pick menu. So the same brushes you see here at the top are also going to be visible here inside of the brush palette. For this demonstration, I'm going to click and drag the brush palette over to the side so I can see all of my brushes. And while we are in the enable customize mode, we'll make an adjustment with the move brush. So I want to move this brush down into my ZBrush canvas. So hovering over the brush, holding control and alt, this will allow me to now click and drag. And anywhere I drag within the UI where I see this white bounding box is a place where I can position this brush. So I'm going to place these down here in the bottom corner. So now I've got my move brush in the canvas and let's hold control alt, drag our Damien standard, standard. Now we can reposition these and make any slight adjustments to aligning them. And once they're in place, we can go back to preferences and make sure we disable the enable customized mode. So this will now re-enter ZBrush in normal state. So it's out of its customized mode. And now I can simply just click these brushes. And as you'll see in the top left, these are now being selected. So a quicker way to have access to just a few brushes for a project like this. If you want this to be your default ZBrush UI, we can go back into preferences, config, and we can click the store configuration. So this will now set these brushes in their current state as the default location. So when I close ZBrush and relaunch, these will be in their exact same positions. If we don't click the store configuration, ZBrush will simply restore back to its default configuration without these brushes here.